Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to work on uh, three-digit addition with regrouping ones. And so the essential question that you should be able to explain is, when do you regroup ones in addition? You should actually already be able to explain that because we have already worked with regrouping when we were adding tens um, in our previous chapter. So listen to the following problem and use quick fixtures to show what you did to solve this problem. All right. So as you draw, do your picture and solve the problem I give you, make sure you pause the video so you have time to do this on your own. All right. There were 213 people at the show on Friday and 156 people at the show on Saturday. How many people were at the show on the two nights? So on the first night, there were 213 people. On the second show, there were 156 people. How many people were at both show, shows together? Okay, so go ahead and draw a quick picture for that and solve the problem. Go ahead and pause the video to do so. All right, so we said 200. 13 plus 156. Okay, so two hundreds, one ten, and three ones. And one hundred fifty six. Okay, so do we need to regroup in this problem? Well, there's six ones here, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine ones. We don't have to regroup there, right? We only have to regroup ones if there's 10 or more. All right, let's go to the tens. Do we have to regroup here? Five and one more 10 is six tens. Okay, we don't have to regroup there either. And hundreds, there's only 300, so... There's no need to regroup in the hundreds. So our answer is 369. 369. Okay. So that's actually one of those problems that you could probably just do in your head because there is no regrouping involved. All right. So let's look at page 290 and see what happens when we do have to regroup. All right. So now... We have to add the number 246 and 117. We know we're going to start with the once. And 6 plus 7 is 13, right? Well, that's more than 10 ones. Uh, more than 9 ones. Anything more than 9 ones, we need to regroup the ones as 10 of the ones as a 10. And so we're going to regroup 13 ones as 1 10 and 3 ones. Okay, now we're going to add the tens. Four tens and two more tens is six tens. And three, two hundreds plus one hundred is three hundred. So what did that look like in the picture? Well, we had two hundred and forty six plus one hundred. I'm sorry, one hundred and seventeen. Well, when we added the ones, we came up with 13. So we can circle 10 of the ones and trade them for another 10. That leaves us three ones, but it leaves us with now six tens and three hundreds. Okay. So I kind of did all the steps in the first block. But so after we added the ones, we would add the tens, right? Four tens plus one plus one was six tens, which we have here. Okay, two, four, six tens. And then last, we added the hundreds, 200 plus 100, 300. Okay, so there was three steps. Add the ones, regroup if you need to, add the tens, then add the hundreds. All right, so let's start here. Eight and four ones. Well, that's 12 ones, right? So we're going to regroup that. 
as one ten and two ones. Okay, now we're going to add the tens. Three tens plus two tens plus one ten. Two and one is three tens. Three tens and three tens is six tens. And three hundred plus one hundred is four hundred. Okay, so it's no three digit addition is no different than two digit addition. If we need to regroup, we regroup the ones as tens. Okay, all right. Number two. Sorry. It's a all right, five ones and three ones, eight ones. No need to re reduce. I have no need to regroup. Four tens and two tens, six tens. We don't have to regroup the tens either. 400 plus nothing, 468. Okay, let's go to 291. 526 plus 103. Add the ones first. Six plus three. Nine ones. Don't have to regroup. So there's nothing going to be here. Two tens plus zero tens, two tens. We don't have to regroup the tens. 500 plus 100, 600. Number four, okay. Nine and eight is 17. We do have to regroup, right? 17 ones. We're going to regroup as one ten and seven ones. Add the tens, four, five, six. Six tens and three hundreds. Number five, eight and seven, that's 15 ones. We need to regroup as one ten and five ones. Add the tens, four, five, six, seven, seven tens. Add the hundreds, six and three hundreds, nine hundred. Sixes. Six is, I don't know. Number six, seven fives and seven plus five ones is 12 ones. Regroup as one ten and two ones. Add the tens, five, eight, nine, nine tens. We don't have to regroup the tens. 200 plus 200, 400. Number seven, 11 ones. 9 plus 2 is 11. Regroup as 1 10 and 1 1. Add the 10, 6, 7, 8, 9 tens. We don't have to regroup the tens. 500 plus 300, 800. We don't have to regroup the hundreds. Number 8, 7 and 5 ones, 12 ones again. Regroup as 1 10 and 2 ones. Add the tens, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. And now add the hundreds. 200. Okay. Number nine. On Thursday, there were 326 visitors at the zoo. There were 200 more visitors at the zoo on Friday than on Thursday. How many visitors were at the zoo on both days? Okay, so this can be a tricky problem for some students. So we know Thursday. There were 326 visitors. But the trick or the problem where we really have to pay attention is Friday. There were not 200 people on Friday. There were 200 more than Thursday. So Friday, you have to add 326 plus 200. Well, we should be able to do this in our head because the only place value that's going to change is the hundreds. 300 plus 200 is 500. So 526. Okay, so now we can add 326 plus 526 to find out how many visitors were there on both days. Six ones plus six ones. Ones is 12 ones. We need to regroup as 1 10 and 2 ones. Add the tens. 2, 4, 5 tens. 500 plus 300, 800. So 852 visitors over the two days. Okay, page 292. Number 10. 
solve, write or draw to explain. The gift shop is 140 steps away from the zoo entrance. The train stop is 235 steps away from the gift shop. How many steps is this? So 235 steps away from the gift shop and 140 steps away from the entrance. So 140 plus 235. All right, well, we can simply just add up the ones and five and zero is five, right? Five ones, you don't have to regroup. Four tens plus three tens is seven tens. And 200 plus 100 is 300. So 375 steps. And the last one. Katrina's class used 249 noodles to decorate their bulletin board. Gunther's class used 318 noodles. How many noodles did the two classes use? And did you have to regroup to solve? Explain. Well, let's see. 249 noodles in one class, 318 in another. So 318 plus 249. Well, what's 9 plus 8? That's 17. 17 ones needs to be regrouped as 1, 10, and 7 ones. Now add the tens, four, five, six tens. Now add the hundreds, 300 plus 200 is 500. So they had a total of 567 noodles. Now, did we have to regroup? Yeah, we had to regroup the ones. So isn't that what we did? Since there were 17 ones, we regrouped them as 1, 10, and 7 ones. Okay. All right, so that's it for regrouping with ones, or regrouping the ones in a three-digit addition problem. Okay. So in our next lesson, we're going to work with regrouping ones and tens. So until then, I will see you soon.